All right, so I have managed to get all of these on. One of the things I'm going to share a real quick tip I learned was that um, especially these thicker pieces, they wanted to pull away. So I went back with E6000. Um, I get this from my pageant days. I always carried a bottle of this with me. It was perfect to fix a heel or a rhinestone out of a crown. And so this stuff is really awesome. Uh, it was really great to work with and I found that I had to go back and double check things so just taping things down did not actually hold things in place. So I did get my bumblebees on and we got these pieces on and then I added some pieces around the edge. So at this point where I am is I want to seal, start sealing these with gesso. They're a little bit shiny, I don't, uh, you know, I want to have that. So what I'm going to do is start out, I just bought these. This is the white sand. We're going to use this one in a minute. Um, and this one is just the heavy gesso. And so I bought these a while ago. Uh, you can tell because they're actually still even have the tape over them. So let me get that off. And there we go. Uh, and I'm just going to squeeze some out onto... A paper plate and I'm going to grab one of my smaller brushes because I want to be able to get down into all these little details so I'm just kind of wiping this on if you will and trying to get it down into the different parts um, I did want to start with um, by painting these first instead of um, you know painting the body and part of what I'm going to do is by painting the body I'm going to paint it with the sanded gesso which I think is a really cool product now one of the things I'm trying to make sure I'm doing is getting down into all of these little nooks and crannies I don't want to um, pretty much leave anything undone or uncovered uh, and then the last thing we'll do is we're going to take some brown paint and we're going to uh, we're going to um, bring out all the highlights of these different parts. So you probably could use um, maybe a bigger brush that you're willing to kind of smash things down into there. I'm actually using one of the uh, Finnebear art brushes. I love these. And so we're just going to go all the way around and just make sure if it comes out a little bit on the edges, that's okay. Like I said, I'm just trying to get all of this sealed. And even by sealing it, I'm starting to see lots of little details I didn't even know were there. And we're going to really try to bring some of those details out. So what I will probably do at this point is speed this up and you can just watch me paint at a higher rate. Like I said, I've never actually done any film editing, so we'll see how that goes.
All right, so now I've put a layer of gesso over all of this, and the next thing we're going to do is use the heavy gesso that has, um, no wait, that's what we just used. I'm gonna close that one up. This is the one. I wanna use this textured paste, the white sand, because that's what I want to put over the whole thing to make it, um, to cover up any of the paint that might bleed through and just give it a little bit more texture as well. So I'm going to actually use a different brush for this because I'm covering so much of a larger area. And I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit to start with. And um, I can really kind of almost hear and feel the, the sand in this. But I just want to go over this and seal this kind of with this sandy texture. And so I'm starting in the back here because I want to kind of see how to work it in best. And it looks like using this kind of a, a uh, brush motion, this will work better. So we're going to just kind of work it all up underneath places. Um, I think this actually is going to end up, it dries clear, but you'll still be able to see the sand. And so when we're done with this, we're gonna come back over all of this with a white, um, and I wanna work this all up around the different, um, you know, the, the different appliques that we've done too. So I'm just kind of pouncing it a little bit and trying to get this. It's gonna be thicker in some areas than in other. So I'm gonna actually turn this upside down now and we're gonna just keep going all the way around. So at this point, I will attempt to speed up the camera. I may use all of this, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna to attempt to speed up the camera and you can just watch me do this real quick. All right, so now I'm going to stop the camera again and let this all dry, and then we're gonna go back over the whole thing with a coat of white paint. So I'll be back in a minute. 
All right, guys, we are back again. And so now this has all dried. And I don't know if you can see there's kind of a sheen to this. It's very rough. I love this sand texture that's all over it. And so this has now sealed the terracotta. Terracotta is very porous. And because I'm not really putting a plant in this, I'm not worried about it. But if you were going to put a live plant, I've left the bottom so it's still porous and I have not done the inside. Ooh, dead bug. Um, anyway, so now we're going to paint it and because I'm doing French country, I'm actually using white and this says white. And this is just a cheap brand that I picked up at Walmart. I'm shaking it up real quick. And um, so I am, I don't have fancy paints. Uh, so I'm just going with what I have and so we're gonna add this I mean I wish I had chalk paint like the Dixie Belle chalk paint that would have been awesome but so far no so for right now I'm also using a really old paintbrush that I don't care about it getting mush because we're going to pounce this so it actually gets down into all the little parts because this should not look clean and finished. We don't want it to look, uh, we want it to look more like old pottery and that kind of thing. So I am just taking this paint and pouncing it down into all of the different parts. Now, trust me, this is going to look very, oh, clean and sterile, if you will. But when we're done, it's not. We're going to go back and uh, definitely we're going to do some um, distressing, some distress glazing, if you will. Now you'll notice I'm kind of going up and around all of this and going at it from some different directions. That's because you'll be looking at it from all these different directions and you can see that I didn't quite get these decorative pieces down into the pottery so it is important to kind of get up underneath all of that and make sure again like I said don't be afraid to just this stuff is pretty solid so don't be afraid to uh, pounce and mush it down in there so I'm going to mush it is that a technical painting term and we don't want to do any real um where you just like brush strokes. I don't want brush strokes for this look. I really, really want this to have really a grungier, pottery, Grecian, French kind of feel to it. So we will go come back to this eventually, once this is all dry. And we're going to definitely go back in and add more depth to this piece because if you think about French country pottery um, it really looks aged it looks well aged so I'm trying to get this really worked in there so that's why I said use a brush that you don't care about don't use one of your good brushes you want to be able to really work that paint down into all these different parts and you still want to be able to see the sand, see the sand texture coming through. That is part of the charm, if you will, of all of this. So at this point, you probably, again, don't want to watch me paint all of this. So I am going to stop talking and we are going to move this into fast motion and I will be back when I'm done.
right, so I'm going to set this down onto a paper plate to dry because I don't want to let this um, get stuck to my plastic. And I'm also going to do a little bit of finish around the edge. If I come back and this dries and I need a second coat, I will go ahead and put a second coat on and just let you know that I did that. And then we're ready to do all the glazing so that it really brings out all of this great, great um, grunginess and brings out and highlights all of this stuff as well. So I'll be back with that.